smiled Roddy really enjoyed himself didn't he and he was joining in so well on the yeah yes so hi everyone a warm welcome back to the channel hi. if you haven't worked it out yet uh, we've just had the most amazing weekend at Kelmarsh Hall mm -hmm. at the Caravan and Motorhome Club Club Fest 2023 mm. a little bit unsure about this at first didn't know what to expect well we've we? never been to one so we didn't really know what to expect but what I noticed right away was uh, how well organized it was and there was no hanging about on the main road trying to get in. There was no queues really. As soon no. as you were in, you were rushed to your block, yeah. which they sent you um, beforehand, so you knew exactly which block you're going to. We were in the East Anglian block, I think, um, and we were in and sighted within no time, weren't we? Yeah, I mean, given that I don't know there were somewhere between two and three thousand caravans, motorhomes, and camper vans, etc. Never seen so many. Everywhere no. you looked, there was another one and another one. No, so access was excellent. And I was actually speaking to one of the uh, volunteers who were helping over there. And, and the Caravella Motorhome Club had that site at Kelmarsh Hall for 28 days, start to finish. And I think they spent about two and a half to three weeks just getting it ready. And when you think about the military operation, putting in all the electrics, putting in all the water at access and your fresh drinking water and also your Elson points, etc. yeah. A lot of work, and then of course they have to build stages, get all the traders in, all the caterers in. Uh, absolutely amazing, and the facilities were good. Toilets were all really kept clean and tidy at all times. Uh, we did use our own facilities, which we we're did. getting quite used to. Um, the toilet on the site actually, they shut at eleven o'clock. I tried to get Dave to use one of the staff ones, but it didn't work, did it? <laughs> no, I'm afraid it didn't. There's an avenue of pleasure that's been closed off and we don't want it reopened again. Mm. So all in all though, brilliant weekend, thoroughly enjoyed it. And then it says in a thumbnail, the best weekend of the year. And I think so far it's fair to say it probably was, wasn't it? It was. Um, the entertainment was actually wall to wall through the day. Not a bad turnout for the old club fest. Are you enjoying yourself, Ronnie? Very much so. Favourite band so far? There was two stages, a smaller one and the big one, and, and one band passed over to the next band, you know, there was something going on most of the day. Um, yeah. It was pretty good. It was, yeah, and some great uh, acts as well. You know, I really particularly enjoyed the Illegal Eagles. They were very good. Yeah. They were super. My favourite as well, I think. You're in your way to hide your yeah. Uh, the Meatloaf tribute, that was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I hear you singing loud on this one. Maybe we can. You know, it was all good. And um, and then there was a silent disco, which Helen went to with Leslie. We found a silent disco. I'd never been to one before. <laughs> and um, it was really weird because we, we had um, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, Cindy Lauper, and um, Tom Jones singing Kiss.
It looks really strange to see everyone dancing to nothing. There's nothing it going does, on. It does, and it's also there's three different channels on it, different colours, and you can actually listen to whatever one you want. But you could pick out the people that listen to your channel because of how they were dancing and it fitted the music. So it was pretty, pretty good, really. Wasn't yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was different. Uh, another highlight for me was the street food because there was such a choice of food there, and, Great, and pretty it? much from mm -hmm. eleven o'clock. I don't even know what time it opened in the morning, to be fair, but it went on till eleven o'clock at night. Um, I think one night we had fish and chips from the chips, fish and chips store, had a, uh, brilliant burgers on another night. Uh, Ronnie and Leslie, they had um, Thai, Thai one and time. An Indian. Yeah, and then we had, a, they raved about that by the way, they thought mm. it was really good. We had a Sunday lunch in, yes. a, in a train, we yeah. had a roast with um, Which was a bit chips and odd. gravy and stuff. It was turkey, gravy, stuffing and chips. But like it, it. it was fine, wasn't it? It was yeah. excellent. Yeah. Uh, and the weather, it, it sort of seemed to turn to like being the hottest weekend of the year so far, yeah. but at night times it was freezing. It was a bit chilly at night. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we needed to go and get hot chocolates with brandy and stuff. Well, in yours stuff. had brandy in. I don't know why mine's never had any. Oh, I had an ordinary. Perhaps he put both it's shots in the odd. same one by mistake. I don't know. Uh, a few traders there as well, wasn't there? So if you wanted to buy yeah. an electric bike or anything, you know, odd stuff like, that. like that. Hey, it's all going on here, folks. Look, we've got a inflatable fairground thing bouncy castle helen do you want to go on that slide ever go down there oh you'd be good on that that'll take you <laughs> you'd be able to go <laughs> what do you mean what do you mean my rider oh this is what um trev and sue have got these Orange one's good, isn't it? But it's fifteen hundred quid. But that's what uh, Trev was riding around at his rally on one of those. Yeah, we. Uh, there was a a flag stall because Ronnie bought a flagpole and a flag. Yeah. This is easily the biggest and busiest stall here. Look at this lot. Everyone wants a flag and a flagpole. Even Helen's gone in. Um, and we had a look at them, didn't we? Yeah, I think that was probably the busiest stall in, in, in the, the whole of the place. He was trading Very busy. He sold constantly out. on yeah. flagpoles and flags and stuff. Mm. But there was also, Ronnie and Lizzie got a real deal because they um, they bought their sun canopy earlier in the year, but mm. they couldn't get the sides for it, the yeah. Dometic. And the Dometic stand was there, and although they got some on order and they were waiting for them coming in, they had them in stock on, so they went and bought them there and then, didn't they? Yeah, that was handy, wasn't it? So that was quite good. Yeah. Uh, what else was going on, Helen? There were some uh, vintage caravans, which was really quite interesting. They have a look around, weren't they? I had a little look around a few. I interviewed a couple of people, and you know they were very passionate. So I won't play mm. the whole video because it goes on for ages. But just a few clips of some of these old caravans. Superb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't it? No. Yeah. You're going back to them. 1939 Thompson Ultra Light. Yeah. Modern, or the old version of a modern day teardrop. A teardrop yeah. 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 People think they knew, they're not, are they? No, this gets to show. Pre war. Hey, yeah. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? There's your cooker. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's as good as any new one, isn't it? The Thompson Dart. Yeah. Mm. Very good. A more character than the new one. Definitely. Probably more solid. Some lovely vans here, folks. Look at the units. <sighs> yeah, look at this, folks. Right Little sink unit there. I wonder if I can be put the old extension pole on and we'll have a, a closer look. Look at that. Beautiful. Do you know what I like best about this van? It's got a Norwich City umbrella in it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you Lovely. spotted that quick. I did, yeah. Spot that mile. It'll go up and down, won't it? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Just like them. <laughs> oh, wow. And look at the little bay window out the back. Beautiful. Sorry, that is really nice. Don't know what it is, do you? No idea what sort of caravan we're looking at here. But nonetheless, very nice. Look at the old hitch, Ronnie. 
Do you think that's got an alco lock? <laughs> God. Lovely, I love the awning, don't you? A Cheltenham. Yeah. What year? Uh, Another 56, yeah? yeah? And that's four berth, is it? It is, yeah. Yeah. Two singles here. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Got a good old uh, skylight on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that standard? Yes. It is, is it? Yeah. The first two years, yeah. they changed it to a lantern roof. Oh, did they? Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. yeah. And you've got gas lighting in that. Is that all still yeah. working? LED. Oh, clever. Can That's clever. Yeah, safer. Yeah. I didn't pay to use them. No. How long have you had it? Six years. Have you? Two years of restoration, lockdown. You're right, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. yeah. What, sort of, what sort of condition was it? Was it too bad when you got it? Was it really? A bit of a wreck, was it? Several people looked at it and said there's no yeah. way. Wow. Well, no. no. Well, I'll have a crack at it. Yeah. And, uh, they like yeah. <laughs> you like carpentry, do you? Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah. All the tools to do what I want to. Yeah. That's what you need. Yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, if you've got the gear, it helps, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. All right, now let's have a little 360 round there. It's really good. Can't believe we've got looking at a caravan, it's got two doors on it. It's about a third of the size of ours. Yeah, <laughs> and it's got door. two doors, and we've only got one. Yeah. Ah, see. Yeah, so it's 1915 six. six. Yeah, and here it is, the world famous sable. Brilliant, what a lovely job. And you've restored all the um, cushions and covers. The upholstery, the upholstery yeah. the curtains. Yeah. We've replaced. Nice and shabby. Made repairs. Shabby chic. Yeah, it, it was yeah. definitely shabby. <laughs> and is, is your gas eating all working? Yeah. 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 Works. Mm. Superb. Lovely. Well, thank you very much indeed. No I'll be, are you going to get a lot of people? You've got a queue behind me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Superb, isn't it? Two doors on it. Yeah, I know. I just see that. All yeah. Around there, two doors. Yeah. Great. 1956 Sable. Also, we met up with the Happy Caravanner. Yes. Um, lovely little store, a great lady. I'll put her details up for you now. Really quirky stuff, actually. I bought some bunting. Come on, actually. Right. Oh. Take that yeah. One? Yeah. Big question. I'm filming for you here. Look, I'm doing a little bit of promo. So come on, tell us a bit about what you do. <laughs> so, hi, I'm the Happy Caravaner. I do handmade accessories for mm. caravans, motorhomes and campervans. So do, you, do you make it all yourself? Make it all myself. Wow. And these wow. are my own fabrics. Ooh, that brilliant. Here. Yeah. And Quite nifty, isn't it? So that, well, Thank you. So this is for your tablet. You yeah. can pop here. Lots of different things. And I make a lot to order. So do anything you? can be made bespoke and customised, personalised. You do a little mail order service. Mail order service, Fantastic. yes indeed. Um, got a website here as well. Zoom in on this folks. Yeah. The Happy Caravan. Happy Caravan. It's Teresa, that's yes, it. Yes, that's there it. Yeah. All right, we'll take one of those, Teresa, if that's all right. Yes, yeah. thank you very much. Right, yes. what are you buying then, Helm? Um, lots of bunting. Bunting. Bunting's been very popular. Has it? Weekend. Yeah. Marvellous. Yeah. Thanks for coming by. That's okay. You know that would have bought me four beers at the at the bar though, don't you? Nah. Yes, I'll show you the bunting now that Ellen bought. I knew she couldn't go to the store and not buy anything. But very shabby chic and all homemade, isn't it? Mm. So uh, here's her details and I'll put them in the description below. Have a little look. Mm -hmm. Worth checking out. Uh, so all in all, I think it's fair to say that was the highlight of the year so far. We had a really good weekend actually. We weren't very sure how it was going to go. I've never been to one, but it was really good. Yeah, and I highly recommend it. Uh, if you've not been to one before and you're thinking it, there's another one planned for next year. Uh -huh. And it's going to be, uh, I'll put some details below, but it's going to be over sort of in the Midlands, actually a bit more uh, Wolverhampton way. Can't quite remember where it was. A bit too far for us, really. Too far, and I don't fancy going all that way to see Jason Donovan myself. But I mean, we've he, seen him before at Norwich. He was good. I must say, I, I did think at the time this will be a food or toilet break, but he was really, <laughs> really good. He was, yeah. But uh, no, I think the next one's quite a distance for us, so we probably yeah. won't make it to the next one. But highly recommend it uh, if you're thinking. I suppose it's one of those events where 
if you've got the weather on your side, it's going to be brilliant. I mean, I hate to think what it would have been like if it had been torrential rain for four days. Oh, yeah. You know, you just can't plan for the weather, can you? You can't. And if you had children with you, incidentally, they put on races and different things for them all through the day. Oh, yeah. There's so, a full, full activity, full, yeah. full programme for the kids, loads going on. They also had, um, on Sunday morning, they had a Scottish ramble. They were in the next block to us, the Scottish caravan club. Yeah. And um, we would have gone. But it was five miles, and if it had been two or three, maybe we could have done that. But I don't think we're ready for five just yet, do you? <laughs> Probably not, no. But, you know, I think there were something there between two and three thousand caravans, motorhomes and campers on site. And uh, once again, hats off to the Caravan and Motorhome Club for organising what was a, a brilliant Very event. Very good, yeah. Uh, and just... What I could see of it, it was just military fashion the way it was all done. So, mm, it was so 10 out of 10. And I've never seen so many caravans and motorhomes and campers in my life. Never. Well, I'll tell you what, there were some lovely little vans there as well. Mm. Some some strange ones. Well, one guy had got a VW camper van. Uh, in fact, he got two. It's like he chopped the front end off of one mm. and made it into a trailer. Trailer. And that looked really lovely, didn't it? And then right next door to that was a uh, swift tag axle. Mm. Uh, this couple had got it, and I was absolutely amazed because inside... They're palm trees, didn't they? <laughs> you, you can't really quite make it out on the video, but I, I was tempted to go in and film. Perhaps I should have just asked, but they had a palm tree, a table a was bar. set. Yeah, the a bar. Yeah, the bar. bar, yeah. Uh, pineapple and tropical sort of uh, <laughs> rugs on the floor. It just looked absolutely superb. And some of the... They really went for it, some of the people, oh, yeah. It was excellent. What a set up here, look, look at this. Grilling and chilling. I reckon one's a trailer, it is. That is cool, isn't it? Yeah. And then look in here. Is this all yours? <laughs> what are you selling? They've got they brought their own palm tree with them. You don't do it by half, do you? God. You got palm No. I'm going to get one now. We like to keep up with the Joneses. We're going to go and get a palm tree. Looks smart. Looks really good. <laughs> Doesn't it just? So, yeah, good time was had by all. And, and, you know, we've got plenty more adventures coming your way. So we really hope you've enjoyed watching this one. If you're new to the channel and uh, you've not yet hit the subscribe button, you know, do it now. Smash the subscribe button. Uh, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. All those things cost absolutely nothing help the channel to grow and don't forget to hit the notification bell and that'll let you know when the next videos are coming out yeah uh, we've got more adventures to come though i can't even remember where we're going next but look out for a trip to derbyshire later this year uh we're back off into norfolk again we've got some mm -hmm. a couple Local of suffolk site, sites yeah. to go to haven't we yeah i think we're away more than we're on this summer that's for sure well you make the most of it while the weather's good don't you yeah, and That's over here plan. on the East Coast, by the way, I must tell you that anyone who sort of resides west, mm. you know, along the west coast of you've Scotland... You've been so lucky. You've been lucky. 25 degrees. Over here, it's been like winter. We've had central heating on for the week yeah. that we've been home. It's 13 been incredible. it was yesterday, wasn't it? 13 degrees all day. Bonkers. And cloudy. Mm. Bonkers. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that video, and mm. we will catch you in the next one, coming your way very soon. But until then, take care, and we'll see you then. See you soon. Bye, Bye for now. Okay.